everyone and welcome back to Ellie Pop's Bespoke YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a classical ballet bun wrap. So here are some examples of some classical ballet bun wraps that I've made previously. This one is made with mulberry flowers and this one is made with mulberry flowers and embellishments and it kind of replicates the mermaid bow um, that I make. If you want to have a look I'll pop a clickable i button in the top right hand corner. So today we're going to make one that looks like this. I'm going to replicate this one for you. Just give you a close up of what it looks like there. So we've got the mulberry flowers and this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mulberry flowers that are two centimetres in size and two little gemstones for the edges. Then there is the uh, satin 10 millimetre uh, ribbon. It's double sided satin ribbon. Like I say, it's 10 millimetres or one centimetre. And the colour I've gone for today is lilac. So like I say, it is mulberry flowers. Now I buy these from China in bulk. Uh, because I have large orders to do, but you can get them from places such as clippertybits.co.uk. Uh, if you're in the UK, they do ship to America, but I'm sure if you have a look around sort of in your craft shops, you will find mulberry flowers. I'll pop a link to um, the shop that I've mentioned in the description. So you're gonna need nine of these two centimeter mulberry flowers. You can use one and a half centimeters, you could probably go a little bit bigger, but I find two centimetres is right. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see if we can pull two more out of here. Twisted together. There we go. Eight, nine. Put the rest to the side. Now we don't want these to be on um, stems, so we need to cut those off. So we just get our scissors, just gonna get a pair that aren't so sharp. I don't want to blunt my scissors. So what we do is we just undo these and we cut the stems. Now, when I'm cutting the stems off these, I don't like to cut them straight to the flower in case the flower falls apart. So, I cut them with about half a centimetre left and then I bend that over flat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that for the rest of these flowers and I'll be back when I'm done. So that's all the stems cut off. They are metal stems, so you do need to make sure that they are all flat and just as you're pushing them down, just make sure it doesn't feel sharp because you don't want it going through the satin ribbon and into the dancer's head. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a length of the satin ribbon. And the size it needs to be is, I do it the width of my table, so let me just measure that for you. around 27 inches which is around 69 centimeters 70 centimeters it won't make a difference that extra little bit so I'm gonna cut mine to that length and what I do is I cut the ribbon at an angle just to give it a nice nicer finish and we heat seal the end, just so it doesn't fray. That one's already done. Okay, so it's pretty simple from here. What we need to do is I fold the ribbon in half and give it a crease. So you know where the middle is. And then we just pop some glue on the centre crease, 
get one of your nicest looking flowers for the middle. I'm going to go for this one. It's quite spread out. And we just glue that in place. And then we go on either side. So you've got four on either side. We need to stick them quite close together. Sort of overlapping nearly, but definitely touching each other. That's so that when the bun wrap is curved around the bun, there aren't any gaps. And obviously if you have a smaller bun, you just use less flowers and a shorter amount of ribbon. And if you have a bigger bun, you can add more embellishments or and uh, a longer length of ribbon. So. This size will make sort of an average bun size. That's those ones. Now do the other side. And you can be as creative as you like with this as well. You can use different sized flowers going uh, bigger to smaller, sort of bigger and then taper it down. Or um, you can mix the sizes all the way along. You can add rhinestones, um, embellishments, all sorts of things. Be as creative as you like with it. But this is just the simple ballerina bun wrap. And I'll pop a photo of the, on the end um, of my daughter wearing hers in her class. So there we go, that's all the flowers put on and nice and evenly. And then what we need to do is I go into my trusty box of embellishments. And I have these little purple heart embellishments here. Just get a couple of those. And glue them at either end. Now if you have used bigger flowers and they overhang underneath or it looks a little bit messy you can also put a piece of felt on the back of the ribbon where the embellishments are. That's it. So this is quite neat on the back as you can see. So I don't need to put any felt on there, but if you used a bigger um, flower, you might need to put a piece of felt on the back. So that's basically it, the bun wrap. And it will go around the bun like this and tie in a bow. Let's see if I can tie a nice bow without it being around hair. And that sort of that sits under the bun and that sits around the top of the bun. Obviously when it's hair in your hair you can then pin it to make sure it doesn't fall out but it looks very pretty. I have lots of ballerinas who have these to go with their tutus for competitions or just to wear in their dance classes. They look very pretty and elegant. Like I say I will pop a, a picture of uh, my daughter Ellie wearing it at the end of the video so look out for that uh, more videos coming up soon including how to uh, make double-sided fabric and using a butterfly butterfly template so if you're interested in any of those or want to watch any of my other videos i do hope that you will subscribe if you're not already please give this video a like it really helps the channel and any comments you have please pop below i've also got a uh, facebook group for the youtube channel I'll pop a link to that in the description also. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.